Throughout the rich history of Major League Baseball MLB, the sport has witnessed moments of brilliance, heartbreak, and utter disbelief. However, sometimes even the most skilled athletes make astonishingly poor decisions that leave fans and players alike scratching their heads. So in this video, we will see 20 dumbest plays in MLB history. Number 20. Armando Galarraga's Near-Perfect Game on June 2, 2010, Detroit Tigers pitcher Armando Galarraga was one out away from achieving a perfect game against the Cleveland Indians. However, a blown call by first base umpire Jim Joyce robbed him of this historic feat. Despite overwhelming evidence showing that the runner was out, the call was upheld, and Galarraga's perfect game turned into a mere one-hitter. This moment epitomizes the human fallibility that continues to be a part of the game. Number 19. Derek Jeter's Flip Play While Derek Jeter is renowned for his brilliance on the field, his infamous flip play during the 2000 and 1 ALDs against the Oakland Athletics was a puzzling decision. With two runners advancing, Jeremy Giambi seemed destined to score, but Jeter's unorthodox and risky flip to the catcher miraculously got Giambi out. With a combination of skill and luck, this play remains one of the most inexplicable in recent memory. Number 18. The Bartman Incident In Game 6 of the 2003 NLCS between the Chicago Cubs and Florida Marlins, a foul ball down the left field line became infamous for the fan interference incident involving Steve Bartman. His reaching for the ball disrupted outfielder Moise Alou's attempt to make a catch, sparking a furious rally by the Marlins. The Cubs lost the game and the series, leaving fans to ponder the what-ifs had Bartman not been involved. Number 17. Ghost Canseco's head home run. In 2003, while playing for the Chicago White Sox, Joe's Canseco experienced an unforgettable blunder when a ball bounced off his head and over the fence for a home run. The absurdity of the play typifies the unpredictable nature of baseball and made Canseco a symbol of the not-so-graceful side of the sport. Number 16. Todd Frazier's Phantom Catch. As a member of the Cincinnati Reds in 2013, Todd Frazier pulled off an extraordinary, albeit bizarre, play. In an attempt to rob a home run, Frazier leaped at the wall, appearing to make a spectacular catch. However, replays showed that the ball had actually bounced off the wall and into his glove. Umpires mistakenly ruled it in out, leaving fans and players alike stunned at the phantom catch. Number 15. Yandervis Solart's Pop-Up Confusion in a game between the San Diego Padres and Seattle Mariners in 2015, Yan Jervis Solart hit a high pop-up that should have been a routine out. However, the Mariners infielders lost track of the ball in the sun, allowing it to drop safely between them. To make matters worse, the Padres base runners were so taken aback by the bizarre play that they failed to advance. This double blunder showcased how communication breakdowns can lead to astonishing plays on the field. Number 14. Gene Segura's Base Running Blunder During a game in 2017, Seattle Mariners' Gene Segura mistook the number of outs and prematurely walked back to the dugout on what he thought was the third out. However, there were only two outs, and the opposing team capitalized on the confusion, turning an easy double play. Segura's base running laps served as a cautionary tale about the importance of staying focused in every moment of the game. Number 13. Mets inside the Park home run collision. In a bizarre incident during a 2019 matchup between the New York Mets and the Atlanta Braves, Mets outfielders Jeff McNeil and Amit Rosario collided while chasing a ball, allowing it to roll to the wall. The result? An inside the Park home run for the Braves. The play perfectly exemplified the dangers of poor communication and lack of awareness on the field. Number 12. Shin Su Chu's Walk Off Walk. In an unusual sequence of events in 2019, Texas Rangers outfielder Shin Su Chu walked with the bases loaded in the bottom of the 11th inning, seemingly giving his team a walk-off victory. However, he mistakenly believed the bases were already loaded and began walking to first base. The Tampa Bay Rays, quick to notice the error, appealed to the umpires, who called Chu out for passing the runner ahead of him. The walk-off win turned into a walk-off gaffe providing an unforgettable moment of confusion on the field. Number 11. Fernando Tatis Jr.'s Grand Slam In a game against the Texas Rangers in 2020, 
San Diego Padres Fernando Tatis Jr. found himself in a controversial situation with the bases loaded and his team holding a comfortable lead. Tatis swung at a 3-0 pitch and hit a grand slam, which many considered to be a violation of an unwritten rule in baseball to not swing on a 3-0 count with a large lead. The ensuing debate over the unwritten rules of the game dominated headlines, showcasing how tradition and modern play sometimes collide. Number 10. Chris Coughlin's Gatorade Shower Mishap In a moment of jubilation after a walk-off victory, Florida Marlins' Chris Coughlin was preparing to celebrate with a Gatorade shower. However, his teammate Wes Helms prematurely doused him while Coughlin was still holding the metal bat. The bat slipped from his hand and struck him in the leg, leading to an injury that sidelined him for several weeks. This bizarre and painful celebration fail is a reminder of the potential dangers even in moments of triumph. Number 9. Yan Gomes' Walk-Off Balk In a bizarre ending to a game between the Cleveland Indians and Chicago White Sox in 2013, Yan Gomes scored the winning run due to a walk-off balk. White Sox pitcher Donny Veal committed the balk when he accidentally dropped the ball while on the rubber, giving Gomes a free pass to home plate. The anticlimactic ending to the game showcased how even the smallest mistakes can have significant consequences. Number 8. Cardinals' infamous four-run error During a 2013 World Series matchup between the Street Louis Cardinals and Boston Red Sox, a critical defensive breakdown led to an unforgettable four-run error by the Cardinals. With the bases loaded and two outs, a routine pop-up drop between the pitcher and catcher, and confusion ensued as nobody took charge. Four Red Sox runners scored on the play, shifting the momentum and eventually leading to a Cardinals defeat in the series. Number 7. Braves Infield Fly Rule Controversy In the 2012 NL wildcard game between the Atlanta Braves and Street Louis Cardinals, a controversial infield fly rule call left fans and players fuming. With runners on first and second and one out, a pop fly dropped between the shortstop and left fielder. Despite the ball landing well beyond the infield, the umpires invoked the infield fly rule, resulting in an automatic out. The Braves argued the decision but the call stood, leading to a chaotic scene as fans littered the field with debris. Number 6. Wilmer Flores' Walk-Off Non-Home Run During a 2016 game between the New York Mets and Washington Nationals, Wilmer Flores hit a deep fly ball that initially appeared to be a walk-off home run. However, the ball hit the fence and bounced back onto the field, leading Flores to stop at second base, thinking it was a ground rule double. The confusion allowed the Nationals to tag Flores out, turning what should have been a game-winning home run into a mere double. Number 5. Yu Darvish's no-hitter ruined by error In 2014, Texas Rangers pitcher Yu Darvish was on the verge of a no-hitter against the Boston Red Sox when a routine ground ball to first base in the ninth inning was misplayed, resulting in an error. The error ended the no-hit bid and left Darvish visibly frustrated. This blunder showcased how costly mistakes, even from routine plays, can affect a pitcher's historic performance. Number 4. Matt Holliday's Costly Pop-Up Drop In a crucial 2009 National League tiebreaker game between the Colorado Rockies and San Diego Padres, the Padres' postseason hopes were dashed when Matt Holliday dropped a routine pop-up in the bottom of the 13th inning. The error allowed the winning run to score propelling the Rockies to the playoffs while leaving the Padres in disbelief at the missed opportunity. Number 3. Mariners Triple Play Misfortune During a game in 2016, the Seattle Mariners managed to load the bases with no outs, an excellent chance to stage a rally. However, the potential for greatness turned into disappointment as Kyle Seeger hit a rare 4-6-5 triple play. The bewildering triple play showcased how quickly fortunes can change on the baseball field. Number 2. Tyler Flowers' Odd Ejection In a strange turn of events during a 2019 game, Atlanta Braves catcher Tyler Flowers was ejected from the game by the home plate umpire despite not uttering a single word of protest. After a questionable strike call, Flowers turned his back and walked away, only to be ejected without any apparent reason. This peculiar ejection baffled fans and players alike, revealing the occasional inconsistencies in officiating. Number 1. Ryan Dempster's Four Wild Pitches In a game between the Chicago Cubs and Arizona Diamondbacks in 2011, 
Cubs pitcher Ryan Dempster experienced an embarrassing moment when he threw four consecutive wild pitches in a single inning. The miscues led to runs for the Diamondbacks, further compounding the Cubs' woes during a challenging season. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon to get more updates and notifications. Stay safe, and we will be back soon with another video.